Hello, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're on my channel, hi, I'm Akanksha. So in today's video, you read the title already. We are going to go back and do a good old makeup tutorial. I just love doing those because that's what this channel has been about. That's how it started. I do like making vlogs, but like, you know, making a good, nice sit down, like makeup video or something just like makes me feel like i've accomplished something okay and in today's video you read the title already we are going to do a kind of a day to night kind of transformation uh glam because you know especially when right now we are not traveling but the other day not other day like other week not even other week other month i went to new york right so i get ready in the morning and go out in the night i want to go out somewhere but sometimes i do want to amp things up so i do a few things and i thought i'll show you guys what i uh, do not just traveling but you know for work or even anytime you like run quick errands and you want to do something in the night uh you know this just like amps things up really easily for base i usually don't switch up a lot so my base is already done and i've shown you how i do my base a million times so i'm just going to like skip that part so i just like put it on day or night my base kind of stays the similar i play around with eyes a lot more because i speak volumes and especially given like we have to wear a mask like everything on the eyes just pops so much more so yeah we're going to like you know switch this up from day to night and uh, yeah let's get started okay so let's start my base is done like you can see just adding a little bit of concealer on the lid because I mean why not it just like brightens up everything add a thin nice layer and blend it off so next i'm going in with the maybelline city mini palette this is the brooklyn orange one it just has this very beautiful shade in the top which is like really nice for like a transition shade so i'm just taking a fluffy brush and i'm going to go ahead and add that on the crease area so it literally kind of matches my skin tone so it's more like you know setting the concealer rather than like adding any eyeshadow but which is some look i'm going for now first i'm going to do day and then we're going to do night so for day i usually keep it very basic very simple um it's just again a preference i know a lot of people do love to rock a really nice eyeliner kajal smoky eye look for the morning but i just like to keep it really low key in the morning and like in the evening i kind of amp it up make it a little more smoky it's just a personal uh, preference so i just kind of go ahead and add this on the uh, crease then next today we're actually even going to try and test this pencil i've tried this before but we're going to kind of do like a wear test where's my phone it's currently currently one five pm so we are going to like kind of wear this throughout the day and see how um it goes i'm talking about the maybelline new york tattoo studio smoky gel pencil this uh retails for rupees 499 so pencil it's a retractable pencil which is amazing because you don't have to always sharp it one thing which does annoy me about retractable pencil is that once this pointy end is gone it they usually are never pointy and you cannot get a like precise application with it so that is kind of really nicely solved with this pencil so it has a, a smudger on the end and also if you pull it out more further there's also a sharpener here basically this one and like you can sharpen the retractable thing and get it a get it as precise as you want it's amazing because i think that's the only con i always had for retractable pencils uh, that you cannot sharp them and now you can so that's a amazing thing so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and take this liner i'm just going to add it on first of all tight line it even if you're like not doing anything just tight line your lash line and apply mascara just makes like a huge difference i basically don't like that white space in between whenever i apply mascara so I just like go ahead and tight line I hope you can see the difference between this and this this is insanely pigmented you can just see like you know one swipe and a very gentle swipe it's like it's so smooth and buttery which is amazing you don't have to like you know rub and go on with it like this hundred times for it to show up a little pressure and you are good to go so now you can see it became a little blunt so i'm trying to go ahead and I'm tr i'll kind of go ahead and try to sharp it a bit now 
I hope you can see now it kind of is more pointy. I can go ahead and sharp it a little more as well. It literally came back to the shape it was when I started using it, which is amazing. So now I'm going to go ahead and add it like a liner. You guys know I always do like a faux liner and recently, lately actually I've been doing this a lot more. I used to make it like very non-existent kind of liner but i adding a little darker color just elongates my eye a lot more but i do make it little smoky though because you know i don't like harsh lines i always say that so i'm going to go ahead and take that one now that it's nice and precise and it's very easy and it's so pigmented so be a little light-handed so i'm just going to try to map out my lower lash line and i'm going to draw just like extended if you mess it up it's fine you're not supposed to or you're not like aiming to have like a precise line it's not a liner like a precise liquid liner if you i only till this part i'm not going to extend it till here I'm only going to extend it till the center that's it only on that end look how cute does it look see nice and thin and precise because like i could sharp it i could get it so nice and thin and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this smudging end and i'm going to slowly and precisely blend that end out see just like you know make it as smoky and as blown out and as blended as possible so it does dry down and once it dries down it's a little hard to move because it sets so work a little quickly and do the job so work a little quickly to get the job done what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in back with the palette i used first and i'm going to take this dark brown shade i'm going to further blend away that um, you know brown sorry that um, black kajal i'm basically kind of like you know making it soft brown blackish liner honestly this is all i do sometimes i just like take that brown and go on my lower lash line a little bit as well I'm going to use the maybelline master chrome highlighter and uh, if you watch my videos you know the drill i like taking it and applying it in the inner corner on the upper part not like on the entire like you know inner corner on the base as well mascara is something you have to take your time and apply so that all the lashes are nicely coated finally let's add some lipstick and for lipstick i have maybelline new york this is their ultimate uh, lipstick collection and i have the shade more buff it's a beautiful nude and i really like how it uh, looks on my lips really nice nude i usually go for nudes either night or morning but in the morning I, it's rare very rare that like i go in with bright shade super creamy like literally one swipe pigment you don't have to like you know do a lot with it just like glides on okay that's it this is the look it, i'm talking and telling and doing so that usually takes time but like literally i do this in like two minutes and i'm done and like the entire face like 10 to 15 minutes maximum and i'm good to go out uh but this is how it looks i love it it just like adds a little little you know drama to the eyes so it just like brings back the life back to the eyes and uh, for somebody who loves applying kajal on the lower lash line definitely go ahead and apply it it's just not for me and i just like do that liner and i am done now let's move on and i'm going to show you how to switch this up to like a night look and then we will do a wear test uh for like you know how many hours i'll keep it next okay so now i'm going to take the same kajal and i'm going on the outer corner of my lid and i'm just adding it you know just like adding it right here loki looks like a witch's hat right i like how it looks i probably will just leave it like that but anyways i'm going to go ahead again take that smudger on the end and i'm going to shape the 
whole thing into like a what is try I'm I'm going to try and shape the whole thing into my eye shape so you have to work a little hard because look at this like once it's set it's set it does not like go anywhere so like you know even if you rub or do anything once it's set it does not like budge at all so if you leave it on the eye and you like you know go ahead and do something else you will not be able to blend it later because it's made to set and not budge all day honestly the way it was before like the day look i can rock it in the night as well and i do it most of the time but especially when you want to like go to parties or something like you know a night place you want to like drink you want to dance you, wanna, you know there's a vibe to a place and where you want to like you know look that extra glam in the night etc you can definitely uh do this one and it literally is just like three steps you guys and it just amps it up so much you will see so you know this is how it looks i'm going to again go in back with that dark brown shadow and i'm going to kind of start blending out the edges of this um what do you say kajal again basically i'm trying to make it like a transition thing now i'm just going to go ahead and take this uh, shimmery shade from the city mini palette brooklyn orange i'm going to add it on the lid so yeah see like literally three steps and it's just glam on your eyes you can see you can add glitter if you want if that's a preference you have this is just beautiful as uh, well now you can of course like switch up lipsticks you can make like add a more red or anything according to your preference i do have like a beautiful red lipstick here this is the uh, shade more ruby from maybelline ultimate range so this is how it is but i honestly like it to uh, be new maybe like a little bit yeah i think i'll keep it nude it's just like again a preference but you can definitely switch up the lip here you can maybe add like a more dark brown lip or something and it just like will look beautiful and add lashes you can do anything at this point i'm just going to reapply my mascara So let's see how it wears throughout the day. Let's see if it gets patchy, weird, or collects in weird places, or it like you know smudges everywhere. Who knows? Let's see how it does. Okay, so the time is what 8:52. So it's been a while since this makeup is on. I'm done for the day. I really want to remove this makeup because it's been on for like more than six hours or more now. I'm starting to get oily. Things are starting to break off so little by little. But my eyes look as good as when I put it on. Right? I mean, I really am impressed by uh, this kajal. So you can see the card. So you can see the kajal pencil. The black is still in uh, place. It did not smudge or bleed. Usually, the biggest issue when you use kajals on your eyes is that it bleeds, especially on my eyes. It's not like a good smudge-proof kajal. It just bleeds everywhere. It transfers everywhere because my eyelids they do tend to get oily over the time. But that did not happen with this one. You can see it almost looks as similar as. how it was when we like you know uh, started you have to forgive me for the lighting in this video is the same one what i had like in the previous video but i don't know for some reason it looks off and i tried everything but i'm not able to fix it but thank you so much for uh, watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did and do leave suggestions in the comments below i'm so dry with ideas i have nothing in my head i'm so blank i usually always used to like have ideas like back to back but now i'm just like what am i supposed to do so let me know in the comments what do you want to see i will love to do that for you guys and yeah thank you so much for watching if you like this video then make sure like share and subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell all the products of these will be linked in the description box and i will see you guys in my next video bye